Hey YouTube, Ben here. Recently picked up a V3 Deluxe Edition EverDrive 64 and thought I'd share my thoughts about it with you. Let's check it out. First off, let's take a look at the box and what it comes with. As I said earlier, this is the Deluxe Edition which comes with a few extra goodies compared to the standard release V3. The box is very nice and pretty large. It's noticeably larger compared to Universal game cases and almost the size of a Nintendo 64. I'm pretty partial to the Universal game cases, as you can see in my collection, but in comparing the two, there's pros and cons to both. Inside, we have the manual, which is a pretty nice color manual. It just shows you the basics of how to operate the EverDrive. On the back, you see some advertisements for some other EverDrives. Those are some stickers, a memory card, and of course, the gold cartridge. I chose gold, but there's purple, red, titanium, and turquoise. Back to the cartridge. You can see it's got its nice custom label on the front. Uh, you can see the small LED right above the letter U. Uh, the SD card slot on the top and on the back it's got a nice seal uh, and the gold hex screws. You just pop the uh, SD card out and it slides right out just like any standard SD drive. I chose the smaller of the SD cards uh, because the standard US library of games is only approximately 4.5 gigabytes, so I didn't really see the need to get anything larger. One thing I wanted to point out is the paint is so thick on the cartridge, it tends to rub on my uh, N64. You can see the little wear and tear there. So after you plug the um, SD card into your computer, you, you'll pull this up, uh, ED64, and you just make your own folder for games. You can name whatever you want, and you just slide all your games in there as long as they're unzipped, and that's all you have to do. One other cool thing is you can uh, have different custom backgrounds. And here, here's a little packet pack of uh, backgrounds that I downloaded that someone had made. These are all .bmp files of the correct resolution for the N64. Uh, you see, this person just made a lot of different ones that are game themed, and they're pretty nice. So let's just pop it in. You see, it's a little tough to get in my console. That could be due to the fact that my console is painted. You turn it on. Right when you turn it, you'll see that little LED light up. met with this menu. So here are all those different backgrounds or wallpapers that I have in there and all you have to do is click A and click A again and you'll you'll pull it up. It's real easy to use. I like this one right here because it's just very minimalistic. So then you just hit the B button to back out and go to the games and then here you have uh, all the games I put in the folder. You can only view 17 games per page. To go to the next page you just hit right or left on the D-pad you pick a game and you just hit A, hit A a couple times and it'll load the memory. So that's the big difference between this version 3 and the prior version is that if a game had an actual ability to save on its own without a controller uh, pack or a memory card, uh, the EverDrive V3 will just save automatically for you. Just to show you what it's like to uh, change games, you just hit restart and it's real quick. It boots right back up to that menu right where you were and then choose your next game. So I'm going to go through here and see if there's something else interesting. Uh, just to demonstrate that in fact that it saves the memory, you don't have to do anything special. Here's GoldenEye, which I've only played a very little bit of, but you'll see when it loads up uh, that it has my previously saved game. And there's nothing special you have to do, it just automatically loads it. And just to give you a quick preview of you know how it functions, you know, it runs flawlessly. A lot of people uh, may be skeptical of this device. They think it's a form of emulation, and in fact it's not. It's just the actual ROM file from the actual cartridge running through the N64 hardware, so it's really, it, it is no different than playing the actual cartridge. I'm going to try to play this with one hand, so forgive me. I'm showing you this on the projector that I have uh, because on my uh, CRT TV, a lot of lines are flashing across. Another cool thing about the EverDrive is that you can play Japanese games that we otherwise couldn't get. And so there's certain games that they redid and they added a Rumble Pack feature. So this is Wave Race 64 with that feature. And you see that little logo in the top right corner of the screen. Another example of a Japanese game that we never even had in, in, a, in America called Sin and Punishment. And it boots up just fine.
Overall, I'd have to say very satisfied with the product. Happy that I bought uh, the V3 so I can just save games as you normally would and it takes care of it. You know, having to hit the reset button or do anything funny. Uh, if I had to give it a rating on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it a 9.5 and the only reason being is the the uh, cartridge itself, the way it's painted, uh, it's definitely not fully 100% professional, like as if you had a custom console or as if it had come from Nintendo. Um, it's got, to me, a little excess paint on it, making it a little thick, and you can just kind of feel it too, you know, it, it would be prone to scratches. Um, uh, but other than that, uh, the functionality, how easy it is, right out of the box, plug the SD card in, uh, make a folder, drop games in it that are unzipped, plug it into the console, and you're ready to go. Super easy. Can't imagine it being any easier. Uh, this is great for someone that you know has a bunch of games that doesn't want to tote their games around all the time, or try new games from Japan that you know we otherwise couldn't really get our hands on. Um, so if anyone is thinking about checking it out, I definitely recommend it. It's worth the price. And uh, thanks for watching the video.